In this video, I'm going to show you one of the neatest things ever. What you need is an iPod Touch or an iPhone. There's an application on the App Store for free. It is called Remote. I already have it, but I'll show you. So, I'm sorry. Type it in. Remote should just pop up after you type in a couple letters. So you're going to click on Remote. And then you're going to buy it and install it or whatever. It's a free download. So once this loads on, or my iTunes is open, I'll show you the continuation of it. Come on, iTunes. Don't be so faggoty. Okay. What you're going to do, once the remote is downloaded, you're going to click on Add Library. So when you have iTunes on, you're going to look right on the side, over there, and when your iPod is connected, and you have Remote open, there will be the name of your iPod and Remote right underneath it. So, exit this crap out. It'll be right there, underneath, right about that area. My iPod's not really connecting very fast. It's being pretty gay. And I think my computer froze. Oh, there we go. So, add a library. Then, right there. Once you have it open, it'll pop up. Click on this. And you type in the numbers that are right there. So you click. On your iPod, it'll have some numbers randomly chosen. So I'll type those in. So once that's done, your remote, you're now able to control iTunes. So you just click OK. Hi! Might have just gotten this. So you're gonna go click on more right now, click on songs. And then after it loads. All the songs work on your computer. It's all the songs that you have on your iTunes, not on your iPod, though. It's only a bad part. And uh, that concludes this video. Bye bye.